I wanted to create a place where women can come to be empowered, empowered by other women. Women Helping Women, with interviews of extraordinary and inspiring leaders, artists, celebrities, and change makers who have overcome great challenges to become incredibly successful and then give back to others so that they can love and believe in themselves, follow their bliss, and shine their light. In this way, we can truly be the change we wish to see in the world. Welcome to the Orgina Rose Show. Hello everyone and welcome to the Orgina Rose Show. I am so excited again for our guest on this ongoing journey and series, founder of Wealthy Women Warrior, Andrea Carter. Welcome her to the show. Thank you so much for having me today. It's great to be here with everyone. Um, yeah, so, so the next segment is really just about um, the conditioning. So beauty, brawn, and brains um, <laughs> is, uh, is part of the, the Wealthy Woman Warrior uh, Feminine Leadership Program. And um, this segment really talks about the conditioning mm -hmm. that women receive through our media, mm -hmm. through um, our, our upbringing, mm -hmm. uh, through the messaging that isn't necessarily always said but we pick up and internalize it. And so for instance, um, when I was a child, I'm, I'm the second of four children. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. my older sister, um, she was always uh, said to be the, the smart one. <laughs> and um, <laughs> she is very smart. <laughs> and um, you know, she's done wonderful things with her career. And um, you know, I love her to bits. But as a child growing up, <laughs> yeah. she was the one who was said, you know, she was the smart one. Mm. Well, I was the brawn. Mm. You know, think about it. I mm. was grade five, five eleven, this size. I remember being eight years old and helping my dad move a fridge from one end of the room to the other end of the room. So you can imagine that my family, wow. <laughs> you know, they would have looked at this, you know, this girl that was not very little. I mean, and wow. and I was a powerhouse. I was yeah. always very muscular. I was mm -hmm. I was the the bronze. You were the bronze. Um, <laughs> and and then um, you know the other aspect of it is is the beauty. And so um, you know we also have um, that element portrayed into right. our messaging too. And so what happens when you're labeled the beauty? Mm -hmm. um, well, you get everything because you're beautiful, right. not because you deserve it. <laughs> so you have the one that's smart, mm -hmm. who gets it because she's smart and she puts a lot of effort into being smart. Mm -hmm. And then you have the one who is the brawn and she gets what she wants because she will push and make it happen and mm -hmm. she's got the endurance mm -hmm. and um, the stamina. the stamina yeah yeah the mm -hmm. stamina mm -hmm. and then the beautiful one is typically the one that just you know society mm -hmm. labels oh well she doesn't have to work for a thing in her <laughs> life and if we look at a lot of our celebrities mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. our beliefs that we have about celebrities yeah. we label them yeah like <laughs> that and and I know yeah. that there isn't a celebrity that's out there that hasn't worked very very long hours <laughs> regardless of who you're thinking of I mean yeah. I, I have a couple that have popped into my head that sure. I've seen all over magazines mm -hmm. and I think you know we're we're pretty harsh because we assume that yeah. because they're beautiful they... they're not doing anything yeah and so these these labels that we have and these stigmas that we have mm -hmm. they are uh, internalized mm -hmm. and um, they go alongside with our subconscious beliefs about what is possible and so they challenge us yes. <laughs> they challenge us in so many different ways so for the woman who is very smart but may not feel the beauty how does that come out when she you know is dating or when she is at the meeting or when she is um, out with friends and we look at the elements of the environment and how the environment has in different ways conditioned what we're capable of. Yes, yes. 
Yes, yeah. very, very much. And I love that you even are speaking of like when you got to the beauty around celebrities and so forth. And Hollywood even plays very much into that in yeah. that they have typing, right? So there are mm -hmm. certain types. And yeah. when actors and so forth are going for roles, you know, you have to know your type and what you fit into. So this is... This that's is right. great, and especially with the beauty, many times it's also thought that then that means you're not very smart. That's right. <laughs> right? The Marilyn Monroe kind of Absolutely. model and so forth. So you really are challenging those beliefs and have a strong message for women around that. Well, and I think the message really is that you are not one of those, just like you're not your story. I love it. Yeah, right? You get to um, <laughs> connect them mm -hmm. so that you get to be all three. And you get to choose how you use them. And this is part of the connecting to your creativity as mm -hmm. well, because at some point in time, and I, I don't know when it was perhaps for some of you or when it was for you, when it was for myself, uh, you know, I looked at around and thought, oh, I'm an adult. <laughs> um, so I need to know mm -hmm. <laughs> that I've done everything right well. or that I am mm -hmm. always right or mm -hmm. that I'm doing it well mm -hmm. um, so there can't be any mistakes right right <laughs> heaven right. forbid we make okay. a mistake right mm -hmm. and so part of that what happens is that women lose their connection to creativity mm -hmm. and so part of that joy yeah. that we talk about well wait a second you know I was the brawn I pushed everything to happen so now I have you know the two kids the dog at home the <laughs> husband the the house the right the 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 where's my joy right <laughs> right why am i not happy yeah or the beauty mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. the, the the woman who is is beautiful you know she might have the the whole package not in the you know why am i still single right oh yeah, yeah. or mm -hmm. you know the the woman who's smart mm -hmm. who's the ceo the doctor the lawyer you know, well, where is, is my connection to what I'm really wanting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great questions, <laughs> because that's what happens, right? That is what happens. So you followed that model, you followed that box, that mm -hmm. role, and now you got, okay, you did it all, and now you're still going. So herein lies the problem. Yeah. And I'm sure that if, you know, we did a show of hands, everyone in the audience <laughs> would be saying, that's, that's right? me, to they some degree. They could identify to one or the or other. Or that yeah. would have been at some point in my life. Right, right. And so this portion of, um, of my program and, and also of the, the book that I'm writing is really about learning how to take your archetypes and play with them so that you can embody different pieces and connect them mm. so that you don't have to stay in that, um, that pigeonhole that you may have placed yourself mm -hmm. or that at some point you got the messaging that that's who you were. Love it, love it. And we will find out exactly how uh, you really help that to happen, those connections and playing with the archetypes uh, when we come right back. So come back with Andrea Carter. We'll be right back. What truly sets you apart from your competition? Do you know the answer? Most business owners don't, and the truth is, it's what can make or break your business. Every business wants it, but few know how to get it, and that is instant recognition. The kind you get when you hear a slogan, some piece of music, or even see a logo that brings a specific brand to mind. Many businesses and organizations spend a great deal of time and energy on the visual and forget the audio. Just like you would never send out a print piece without your logo on it, we recommend all your audio should be branded with an audio logo. These are simple and relatively inexpensive to create and help you develop a consistency that most others lack. Think about some of your favorite audio logos. McDonald's with ba da ba ba ba, I'm loving it. Or NBC with hmm 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 or any of the others you might know. Build consistency with it and take it across your TV, web, and live events for maximum benefit. Contact us today to find out how you can get your very own customized audio jingle with our empowering music branding. Hello and welcome back. We are here with Andrea Carter speaking about beauty, brawn, and brains. These three areas that so many of us have either 
chosen for ourselves or had kind of placed on us. And Andrea, you, you really outline, I think, such a key piece of what so many women, either as they were growing up or even still now, struggle with, thinking that, okay, I'm the beauty, or I'm the brawn, or I'm the brains, and thinking that that's all of who you are. When really life shows very much, it'll show you that that's not all there is. But Absolutely. what you do is really help women to connect and, as you say, play with all three and realize you are all three. Yes, absolutely. And so <laughs> it's like, well, how do I figure that out? Right. right now? Well, and it's interesting, again, you know, when we go into the archetypes, then you get to really connect with that and really understand it from a very um, specific space. Um, and um, as, as an overview, uh, without knowing your archetypes, mm -hmm. um, I would say that the first bit would be to um, connect with the one that I just spoke of. And so I'm sure that you can identify that, oh, okay, well, I would have been labeled more as the brawn, or I would have been labeled as the brains, or mm -hmm. I would have been labeled as the beauty. Mm -hmm. And um, identify, first of all, what it is that um, you love about those qualities. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, going back to mm -hmm. the story, <laughs> Sometimes the reason that it's so easy for us to stay there is because there's an element that we actually enjoy. Mm. So if somebody were to ask me, okay, Andrea, you were labeled as the brawn, what is it that you love about it? Mm -hmm. I love that I'm strong. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, right? <laughs> I'm tall, I am strong. Yeah. You know, we moved across the country and um, our neighbors watched me carry <laughs> massive boxes into the house that on our street, all of the other women are 5'2", five 5'4". Five I stand out like a sore thumb. And I love that I'm strong. Right. Um, mm -hmm. The majority of times we look at whatever label that we have mm -hmm. and you we don't it. love yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And so there was a time that I would say, oh, if I could just squeeze myself into that five foot two, <laughs> 90 pound woman, I would have in a heartbeat. And you know, my two sisters, they're that woman. Mm -hmm. And yet looking at the aspect that actually is your gift, again, mm -hmm. allows you to then celebrate yes. your yes. tendencies first. Mm -hmm. So understanding what is it the story, um, you know, the messaging that I got, I was the brawn. But I was also told not to stand out. Mm. So <laughs> what a what a really conflicting I, message. Don't absolutely. stand out, but you're five eleven and incredibly strong and you know, very powerful energy, but don't stand out. But don't stand out. Um, Amazing. but that was also the the environmental factors. Right. And right. so yes. I had to learn mm -hmm. and look at Okay, what is what do I get mm -hmm. from that strength? Mm -hmm. What can I celebrate about it? And, um, and really, how it works for you. And how it works for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do with my clients. You know, we find out what is it that we're going to celebrate about that brawn or mm -hmm. about that brain or or about the uh, the beauty. Mm -hmm. And once we have the key element of it, mm -hmm. then we can bring in one of the other two and play with those mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that we can look at connecting um, that creativity and mm -hmm. start really shifting our beliefs about what we're capable of. I love that. So it always yeah. comes back to, okay, this is the challenge or the block, so mm -hmm. what are we really capable of? Yeah. And that conditioning shapes what we're capable of. Love that because it's so much then about truly accepting all of who you are, right? All of your gifts, all of the different colors yeah. that make up you and and recognizing that you are that thing that you heard so much about for a reason. Mm -hmm. And then you get to actually use that reason. Absolutely. So what's what's the way that you can, you know, help everyone today just instantly kind of make a little bit of a shift in that area and begin to play? Absolutely. So initially I would look at what your tendency is. How can you see how it's been a gift for you? Mm -hmm. So how has brawn or beauty or brains been a gift for you? What mm -hmm. is it, where has it taken you? Where has it got mm -hmm. you to so far? Mm -hmm. And then what would happen if you connected to the beauty of it mm -hmm. or an, a complete opposite? So if you're a brain, 
accepting beauty is like, well, right. Accepting that you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. That that is an aspect of who you are. Absolutely. Yeah. And so discover how you can um, do that by looking. It may even be that you bring something beautiful into your environment mm -hmm. so that you connect to it from that perspective to start. Mm -hmm. And it does. It just allows for that initial aspect to start shifting. I love that. I love that. I think, again, just being so key, recognize you're all three and more, right? Like yeah, you're, more. You're, you're so a beautiful, multifaceted being and to really celebrate that. Oh, that's so yummy. I hope you really are feeling that because I just think that's so, so powerful. Andrea, thank you so much for sharing that. That's, that's very, very powerful information. My pleasure. Beautiful. So again, make sure that you download that archetype test and find out what your archetype is and see how you might be able to really step into the beauty, the brawn, or the brains, all three in one. So make sure too to come back for our next segment where we will talk about those super women out there to take off the cape. So come back with Andrea Carter, founder of Wealthy Women Warrior, and get ready to take off that cape. We'll be right back next time. Bye-bye now. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for being with us today on our show. I really hope that there was something shared that really helps you shine your biggest and brightest light. Please stop by again, like us on Facebook, tweet us, all of those good things, and most importantly, please always remember, it's all about love. <laughs>